Okay, Leo. Okay. Welcome to the Leo Maddox Show. I'm inside of a big Titan Redeemer right here. Oop. <laughs> so there's a mini Eager that comes with this, guys. Ah, my new scrapper! Leo just said sailing. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, of course, we have Bandai's Titan Redeemer from Pacific Rim Uprising. And, guys. Old Titan Redeemer right there. And there's some art here, guys. How do you even draw a Titan Redeemer? And on the back, guys, here we have, we have Titan Redeemer is built for, oh boy, let's see if we can pull that in. Built for brute force and armed with a seismic morning star. Titan Redeemer is the walking, wrecking ball of the new fleet. So they call this a side Jaeger. I don't know why. And guys, there of course is the artwork. Okay, Redeemer is cool. He almost looks like a transformer here. I'm trying to think of who this reminds me of um, with his face sculpt. It looks like almost like one of the Insecticons. And there he is with Scrapper. And of course, Scrapper, guys, you may remember if you have seen this, is the. This is the Jaeger that the little girl built, I believe, with the steam shovel for an arm. And it's other claw here. And this is a very good little figure. It doesn't actually do anything, though. It's all molded in together. Um, you can get some very minor articulation by twisting it. Actually, this, this apparently has a little bit of a bulge right there, but is this also? No, just this one. So there it is, guys. Scrapper, and of course, he comes with a spare hand, which is, oh, it's a very handsome spare hand, too. So there's the spare hand, guys, from... It doesn't go on the May side, it goes on this Jaeger. side. Yeah, guys, so when you're putting hands on, when you have different hands, when you're putting hands on, always remember the thumb goes up. That's how you orient them correctly. And, of course, there it is, guys, the Titan Redeemer from Bandai, Ooh. from Pacific Rim Uprising. Oh, no. And he has ball joints there that you can see that, uh, that uh, come loose. But I can't fix them. Daddy's going to have to do this. You guys can see the uh, ball joint there, and that's, that's a tricky one. Pacific. Pacific. Oh yeah, guys, before uh, before we get too much farther, there is also this, the Pan Pacific Defense Corps, which he is apparently part of, and so there it is, guys, if you take them too far, going crazy with them, you will twist the ball joints right off, and you can see the, in the artwork, he definitely has less of an Insecticon face like this, but of course, as we know, Jaegers don't really need their eyes because they're not robots, uh, his mace can come out. His morning star, rather. What do they call it? The morning star. It's the spikes. They've got, um, you can see, you got some shoulder pads here, guys. You got really good articulation. You can move this a little bit. You can't quite get his them overhead, but he would never need that. He would just need to go back and forth, like so. And of course, with this one, and you can get, you guys can see, you get pretty good articulation there. Of course, you guys saw that there's a ball joint or something inside of this. And you saw the ball joint for his leg. Of course, there's some knee movement here. This part is molded in right there. And of course, ball joints for the foots. And he's got this sort of, it's almost like a military green color almost. I don't, yeah, it's like a, almost like a chrome military greenish sort of thing. Uh, from the back, it's definitely a robot. Detail is not 
like superb or anything on this, but it's decent. It's pretty good. And you can, oh, you can pop out his hips. That's interesting. I didn't realize you could do this, guys. Look at that. <laughs> that's wild. I'm right here. And you can pop back in too. Oh, that's kind of crazy. I'm dying. Interesting. Yeah, so there. And of course, one of the things about this one, guys, these Bandai ones have these tiny, 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 you can see right there, tiny ball joints on the hands. Which means they come off easy, but fortunately they also go on pretty easy as well. So let's send them back over to Leo. Oh, look at all the. Oh, I, this makes sense. If you watch the movie, you know that Scrapper's a little Jaeger since these are the true Jaegers. Yeah, he's, he's the mini Jaeger, yep. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. Oh yeah. Move it. You can get you can get move some. Move it. Oh, does his head go move side it, to side too? It. Oh guys, you can do his head hide to like side to move side it, also. Move it. Oh, yeah. Well, let me see that. Well, Let's I'm get gonna go backflip. Okay. Oh, is he gonna stick the backflip? <laughs> yep, he is. Very athletic Jaeger. Okay, guys. So yeah. Yay! Whoa! Look at this. Look at this craziness of this head sculpt. So you can see, you can take his head. Do, 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 do. In addition to turning it, that's why is that even on there? Is that so he can go no, no, no when he's facing a Jaeger? Guys, leave us a comment and let us know. I have no idea why they would put that on there. Why do you think that's on there? That is nutty. Die! You know, um, if one, and, and you know in a second, if one, if one, person does the Jaeger's voice it comes out in the, out of the Jaeger like a big microphone thing oh really guys I don't actually remember uprising particularly well uh, I remember the first one a little bit better but the second one not super well you guys leave a comment let us know if you guys remember which one you remember better I thought they were both pretty cool but I think I think I like the first one a little bit better Leave us a comment and let us know, guys, what you think. Can you, can you put that on his left hand, too? I guess... Oh, no, you got the balls right in the way. Because that just slides in, right? Yeah, this guy is cool. This was one of the ones I liked a lot, though. Oh, I put out. Titan Redeemer I thought was really cool, just because I really liked his weapon. He's doing the Transformer dance! <laughs> He's stealing the Transformer dance! Oh, my golly, Gushkins. I liked his weapon. I thought, oh, that was that was a cool move. He's trying to crush the little Jaeger. Oh, don't not Scrapper. <laughs> Electromagnetic pulse from his hand fell off. <laughs> it fell over. Scrapper survived. Oh. Uh oh, but he's back online again. Why, why would he, so the Scrapper comes with him, I thought they were buddies. Aren't they little buddies? <coughs> Guys, uh, apparently, apparently, maybe in a different movie or a third part of the movie or something, Titan Redeemer is just losing his marbles over here trying to attack his little buddy. I mean, what happened in the packaging, guys? Did they have some words? Guys, did you have words in the packaging? Guys, leave us a comment, let us know. What, what would ever cause Titan oh, Redeemer? No! To attempt to smush poor little Scrapper. Poor but scrapper. the steam arm is so strong. He takes it. Oh boy, guys, his uh, his excavator arm is pretty strong. If it could do all that. A little bit of wreckage, but not too much. And he's up. So who's, who's your favorite Jaeger that we've done a review of so far, buddy? Maybe this guy. You oh, like, no. You like him better than Gypsy Danger? Well, Gypsy Danger was pretty cool, too. Guys, I think my favorite might be Sa Saber guy. Athena, guys. And definitely keep an eye out for that video Look as at well, this guy. guys. This is part of Leo's <laughs> birthday toy all collection, oh, no, guys. He stole, he stole the hand. And you but can, he flipped him over. And you guys will be able to see the birthday toy haul video a little bit later on in the year, guys. But look at this. Stay tuned for that as well. Look at this. He 
did it with the excavator on. Got got the hand. Whoa. Oh. But he's fine. <laughs> I don't think he's fine. I don't think he's fine at all, guys. He's getting back up, though. Oh, that's I can't cool. pop out, Tips. <laughs> so is he? He's. You know, I don't think he's quite as big as um, the Gypsy Dangers were, huh? I think those guys were a little bit taller. Taller. Yeah. Were those, were those, <laughs> were those neck heads or were those diamonds? Do you remember? So I believe Diamond selected some of these guys too. And I oh believe no. they're a little bit taller. Oh no, look at this. No, not again! <laughs> Through a building. For 14 buildings. And well, I will say I like these Bandai ones quite a bit. He's gonna do the funniest. Pretty awesome. Almost the funniest thing in the movie. He's gonna do something. He, he his finger touches his little car. Beep, 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 beep. Set off the car alarm. Oh my gosh. Titan Redeemer, you're setting out car alarms and everything. You're, you're going to keep people awake with that. And then a ground bunk. He's stepping in an underground bunk. He's stepping on an underground bunker. Just madness. Just madness, I tell you guys. <gasps> oh, but guess what? Scrapper's taking. Oh, you know why he's chasing him? I couldn't imagine. Scrapper is actually controlled by a kaiju. What? Scrapper was made from nothing. Are you kidding? How could he be taken over by a kaiju? <laughs> I think Titan Redeemer guys is taken over by a kaiju and he's losing his marbles. Go in there and get your hand back! <laughs> oh, Scrapper's playing for keeps. He took his alternate hand. <laughs> <laughs> He's losing his marbles. Well, that guy can't even keep his regular fist on. <laughs> Guys, Titan Redeemer is struggling here a little bit. Oh, my hand! Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Redeemer's leg. Oh, yeah. oh, but the hand was really alive this whole time. Okay, oh. guys, it looks like it looks like Titan Redeemer's hand attacked Scrapper, and now Titan Redeemer is also attacking Scrapper. Oh. It's a. Uh, and Scrapper blew up. Oh, it's kind of, no, the star of the movie. How can it, how can it happen? No, no, this is the star of the movie. I mean, not really. Like, guys, leave us a comment. Let us know if Pacific Rim Uprising, Titan Redeemer, or Scrapper is the star of the movie, guys. Look My vote is for Scrapper, down. guys. Look let us know hand. what you think. Or maybe it's Titan Redeemer's hand. I his, got his my hand. hand back. I got my hand back. No, I have two hands. His, his bonus hand. He's got two right hands, guys, and you can't say enough about that. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for our look at the That's Bandai it. Titan Redeemer, guys, from Pacific Rim Uprising. Yep, yep, victory score. There you go. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> if you shoot your fist out during a victory <laughs> celebration, guys, let us know. We would like to know that. By the way, guys, if you did actually, enjoy, what it is is. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give us the old thumbs up, guys. He likes it. He won. Okay, give us the old seismic morning star up, guys. Guys, please hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already. Guys, hit the blue button next to the red subscribe button if you like to be notified of the latest <laughs> and greatest content as it becomes available, guys, including. More from the Pacific Rim series, guys. There will be a playlist that you can also check out of both movies and the figures from Pacific Rim, guys, if you're interested in that, guys. Leave us a comment. Let us know, guys, if you like Pacific Rim. Or if you like Pacific Rim, oh, Rim, okay, if you like Pacific Rim Uprising. Or, guys, 
which your favorite of those two is. We'd be really interested to know, guys, as well as what toys you happen to have. Guys, you can also follow us on our Twitter feed where updates the channel are made more or less as soon as they happen, guys. We also have Twitter specific content as well, including maybe some Pacific Rim figure poses, guys. You can certainly follow us on Twitter for you guys. We'd love to have you there and check that out. Guys, leave us a comment. Let us know if you like Pacific Rim or Pacific Rim Uprising the best, guys. Who your favorite Jaeger was from those. If you have a favorite Kaiju, if you have one, guys, your favorite Kaiju, we'd love to know that as well, guys. Be really interested to know. Leo, which of the two Pacific Rims did you like best? I like this guy. Which of the two movies did you like best? The first, the um, second one. You like the second one better than the first one? Gypsy Danger is cool. Not cool. He had the sacrifice. That's, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that before, guys. That's kind of unique. Very cool, very cool. I know Leo watched oh, a lot on vacation, Leo! so it's uh, it's pretty fresh in mind. Pretty fresh, pretty fresh, pretty fly, guys. Anyway, though, that's going to do it for us this time. We will see you all next time. Bye-bye.